we have a big old bag of Primark makeup and we're going to be doing a full face of it today. This bag is jam-packed full of newness, a bunch of stuff I'd never tried before, as well as some old favourites. I wanted to do this just to kind of share how good some of the stuff they have can be because I feel like it's severely underrated. Like their foundation, their pressed powder, their eyelash curlers, their lip liners, their brow pencil, I use on like an everyday basis. So I just wanted to try a few extra things that I've never put on my face before to test them out and see how they are and also just to share with you guys how good the makeup can be at such a cheap price. So stick around if you want to see the products I used on this and which ones I actually recommend you buy and which ones are better off staying on the shelves. But we're just going to get cracking. I'm just going to quickly chuck on some lip balm because we're looking a bit dry. This is the PS Peach and Mint and it were only a quid. Got tit tail and it reduced to 50p so absolute bargain. Vegan and cruelty free as well so we'll open this and see if it's any good. It's got like a nice little squeezy applicator if it wants to come out. It might because it's cold, you know, like when lip balm freezes up a bit because it's quite stiff. But give that a go on the lips. That was so weird then, it didn't really feel like it was going on. It's like very thin, although it looks thick. It feels quite nice. It smells beautiful. I mean, 50 bit. Oh, wait. I don't know if it's meant to be tingling or if that's the mint, but I'm feeling something. We'll see if my lips start to swell up. But for 50 quid, 50 quid. <laughs> I hope not 50 quid. For 50p, it's not actually bad, and I think I'll actually use this as like a everyday just chucking your bag sort of lip balm. I'm pretty sure they did do other flavours. I'm not sure what. I just like the sound of the peach, so I grabbed it. Yeah, 50p, can't shit on it. It's good. Boom. For brows, this was the only sort of like prep shaping product I could find, and it's the PS Fix and Sculpt Brow Wax, and this were £3.50, and it looks a lot like the Refi. I don't know the name of it, but I'll show you it because I've got it. There's therefore some sort of sensation happening on my lips right now. It feels quite nice to be fair. It just took me by surprise because nothing on it said plumping, so I was a bit shocked. But it's got the little sort of double brush on the end. So it's like the plastic comb and then like the little brush. And then you twist this off and we have the sort of like, oh, but that is literally identical. Refi doop. It's basically like the little fuzzy brow gel. I'll quickly just show you it compared to the Refi one so you know what I'm talking about. I don't actually know how much this one's meant to be, but I mean £3.50. I'm sure this is over like 20 quid, must be. But it comes with the same sort of brush as you can see there, the plastic, and then like the fuzzy side, and then the little applicators inside are practically identical. I'm sorry, what? So we shall put this to the test because I am actually a really big fan of the Refi one, so if this is a dupe, then you're going to be saving a hell of a lot of money. I'm not going to lie, a lot does come out on this little spoolie thing though, so I'm going to just like scrape a bit of it off. We're just going to try shape the brows a little bit with this and see how well she does. Don't be alarmed by the white as well, it does like blend in once you set it with the brush on the other side, you're not going to be walking around with crazy looking brows, but I'm just gonna cut that through the hairs. Obviously the true test will be if this manages to hold them in place, which I can't obviously tell you right now, but I will give you an update if this does last. Now I'm looking a little bit crazy, so I'm gonna go in with the little spooly plastic comb thing and just brush through them and get them to my desired shape which to be fair ain't much i just like to make them look a little bit less crazy than they sit naturally but as this sort of like comes through it takes away that white residue and then i'm just going to use the more fluffy side to shape the top of the brows it literally feels identical that has the exact same texture and everything i was a little bit nervous that i won't be able to find something to kind of like prep my brows because i knew that i'd never seen like a brow soap or like that in Primark and then I saw this and I was like, you're coming home with me. To fill it in, I got the brow sketch which I've been using for absolute yonks now. But they only had the shade blonde and typically use brown but we're going to just make it work anyways because it's a great pencil and these are only two quid. They're not too soft, not too stiff, they're perfect. And they have a super fine tip so that you can do like the sort of brow hair strokes. Although I cannot get into this. I don't know what it is, like Primark make the plastic industrial strength and you just can never seem to get it off. Jesus. Bloody hell. Oh, now the lid's stuck in the end. You see what I mean? How like fine the tip of that is. She is sharp. So we're gonna 
quickly fill in, give myself some extra brow hairs. This might be a good shade to be fair for like no makeup days when I want to just fill my brows in but make them look slightly more natural and not like heavily filled in. It doesn't look crazy ginger sometimes like the lighter shades come off really warm. This is nice and cool toned. Oh my god I love it. Right. I was quite shocked with the selection of concealers in Primark because typically it's not so great and there's usually like next to nothing. But I saw these two which look quite interesting. I'm guessing they're new. I got the shades Porcelain and the shade Beige. I would have preferred like an in-between shade but these were the only ones closest to my skin tone I could find. They were three quid each. Absolute bargain. But it says it's got vitamin E and jojoba seed oil in it so that might be nice for underneath the eyes. Who knows? But I'm just going to use this beige one to prep my eyes eyelids and by prep I mean just cover up the veins. I'm guessing it's the same way you just sort of twist it. This always makes me feel really bad because I hate getting things dirty and just like it looks so nice and fresh and clean but we shall see. Whoa look how much of it's already used and it's not even coming out. We're just gonna squeeze it and not... it's I need to twist it a bit more. You have to twist that a lot to even get a tiny bit of product out. Don't know how I feel about that because it's not exactly a big tube to begin with, but the colour's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be. So that's help fill with sneeze. <laughs> yeah! But I'm just gonna use this to carve out my brows as well. The coverage seems to be nice though, to be fair. Like it's not going like super sheer or patchy or anything. It's just doing what a good concealer does. So we'll set that. I grabbed the My Perfect Colour Foundation Press Powder. I've actually loved this for a long time. It used to come in like a matte black packaging and my favourite shade was Almond. I don't know if they discontinued that since they've like updated everything but I could not for the life of me find it. So I settled for the shade Cashew and this is £2.50. It's like a foundation pressed powder so it has a bit of coverage. That's why I was a little bit iffy about the shade because I didn't want it to be too light or too dark. But it comes with a cute little powder puff. Not that I'm going to use that. To be fair, they're actually in bad of a shade that's quite similar to almond. So I wonder if they've replaced almond with cashew. But I'm just doing this so that when I put the eyeliner on, it don't like transfer on the concealer. Lovely stuff. So for eyeliner, I got the Cole Pencil in black and this were only a squid. So we shall see if it's any good. We'll do like a nice little wing because that's typically more what I'd wear than eyeshadow. Use my little press powder as a close up mirror because the one I've been using is miles away. So we need extra precision. I mean it just looks like a regular pencil so we shall see. I don't know if it's because I've got concealer on my lids or what but it's not coming out like super black. It almost looks like it's got a grey tint to it but it is really nice and smudgy so I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and then we can pop on some lashes. I've just brought it a little bit more into the inner corner so that when I put the lashes on it blends a bit better but I completely forgot that I bought a mascara so we'll quickly chuck that on first. These by the way are actually the Primark eyelash curlers. The best ones I've ever used and they're a quid. But the mascara I picked up is the 3D Lash Effect Extreme Length Volume and Curl. This was £2.50 and I've actually seen quite a few people love this. I think McKenna uses this from the Mother Daughter Diaries. I'm pretty sure this is the one she loves. Correct me if I am wrong. I'm intrigued to see what the brush looks like on this if I can actually get into it. This is actually a joke now because I can't get into anything. <laughs> Like I always say though, I'm really not fussy when it comes to mascaras because 9 times out of 10 I will be wearing lashes anyway. This has a really like tapered rubber plastic sort of brush. I like that it's really thin because one thing I cannot do with is like the chunky fluffy brushes because it just doesn't fit in my eye and I feel like it just makes an absolute mess so I'm quite happy that this is quite fine so that I can get in and fully coat the lashes so we'll give this a whirl. It's not clumping, it's a really nice like separating mascara it's like individually caught in each lash and another thing it's not like super crazy wet you know sometimes when you get a new mascara and like the brush is loaded up and you feel like it's just a bit of a overkill i don't know if that's just me but i prefer a little bit more of a not completely dried out mascara but one that's just not as like slippy and wet and this is like the perfect formula it's not too bad i mean you can't see my eyelashes anyway because i've got like a fat layer of eyeliner on so that ain't really a fair <laughs> test but it's coated the lashes well it's not made them clumpy and I mean it's £2.50 so 
can really complain. No, you cannot. The eye of the pencil is starting to smudge a bit because I've got like a hooded eye and where it like creases, it's kind of like moving off. But lashes, I picked up these PS 3D Iconic Intense Lashes and these were £2. They do a bunch of lashes at Primark but majority of them are like a separate brand and not Primark's own. So I wanted to make this fair and use a lash that's actually by them. And for two quid, these look beautiful. I was looking for sort of like a cat eye angled lash so it would look nice with the eyeliner. But I couldn't find any from Primark's like own brand so... Just gonna work with these and see. I have no option but to use the glue that comes with it as well because I've run out of duo. So this will be a true test to see how it holds up if it actually sticks. We're struggling to stick on the inner corner, which is always the biggest struggle. So eh. let's hope that that wants to cling on. I definitely won't be in a rush to use this lash glue again, but it has done its job. So. I'll get that. It just is very like tedious and you have to wait around a bit, which I'm very impatient. I mean, these lashes aren't the best shape for this eye look because they're not winged out, but we're working with what we were given here. I've had enough of these eyes. Look how crazy I look. I'm not a fan. This I have already used before and I so wish I could have got my hands on a few more tubs of it, but it seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth. But it's the Vitamin Enriched Moisturising Primer. It's £4.50. We all know it's the Bobbi Brown dupe. And as you can see, it's well loved. That is what we're going to be using as like the moisturising priming base. I feel like Primark are really good for creating like cheap alternatives. They're just not so great at keeping them in stock and creating enough for everybody to just buy as they please because everything seems to constantly be out of stock, which isn't great when you find something that you love. But if you can get your hands on that, please do because it is beautiful, so smooth, like a silky moisturising base. I love it. And it smells beautiful as well. It almost reminds me of like a holiday. I don't know what's in it that makes it smell that nice, but... It's bloody lovely. Just giving the skin a bit of hydration. I then did actually manage to get my hands on the PS Flawless Glow, which is meant to be like the Charlotte Tilbury alternative. This refiver, and I picked up the shade Caramel because it's the only one I had, so fingers crossed this don't look too crazy on my face, but I've seen so many people hype this up. I've never used a product like this before. Like I've never tried the Charlotte Tilbury. I've never tried the Elf Halo Glow. So this is all new to me so we shall see just gonna wait for the dustbin man to stop making noises we'll just blend this in and see i don't think it's meant to add like coverage i literally just think it's meant to give you like a bit of tan and glow i'm not 100 percent sure it would be nice for like no makeup days or days you don't want like a heavy foundation which to be fair i don't really wear anyway so this is kind of like the perfect product for me it looks quite nice i'm not gonna lie i mean i'd have to obviously like try it over and over to see if i would use it like in my everyday makeup but for a fiver it's quite cute and it's not actually as dark as i thought it was gonna be because that looks pretty like orange whereas on the face it kind of like shears out so moving on to foundation this was six quid and i got it in the shade toffee and I did just put a bit of instant tan on my neck so that this didn't look too crazy because I didn't know how it was gonna look because I don't have any fake tan on the rest of my body right now. I've heard this is meant to be a dupe for one of the NARS ones, but I'm not really bougie when it comes to makeup. I've never tried that, so I can't really compare. We're just gonna try and see if I like it. I'm not sure if this is gonna have like a pump or if I'm gonna have to just pour it on the back of my hand. Oh my God, there we go. Oh, it has a pump. We might have to pumping for a while to get some product or not that came out quite quick we're just gonna do a little bit because i'm scared i don't usually wear anything like crazy full coverage so i'm not gonna be used to this Ooh, might be a bit dark i thought this would be a nice fake tan shade definitely should have got the one lighter and it's also looking a bit green is it just me or does that look a bit green it does look a bit green doesn't it Shrek vibes. I also have the Prep and Perfect Refreshing Setting Spray. I'm just gonna put a bit on my face before. Okay, that basically just spat at me. I'll blend the foundation in, so. I'm just gonna go in with the same brush I used the like Flawless Filter Dupe thing on and blend this in. I mean, it's a nice shade for the instant tan, I guess. I'm not really one that keeps up with fake tanning, so I might have to get this in a lighter shade for like every day and then just have this for when I'm a little bit darker or for like in summer or something. I'm scared of looking 
like a giant peach. But I'm looking very shiny. I don't know if that's just the foundation or a mixture of the primer thing I put underneath, but I'm looking a bit crazy, so I'm just gonna go in with a little sponge to make that look a little less wild and kind of soak up the extra products. I feel like I put way too much on my face there. I'm gonna use a mix of the porcelain along with the beige, which I used on my eyelids, just because I think this might be a bit too bright on its own. I don't know. That is practically white. I might actually go in with that after and just brighten on top. So we're gonna stick with the shade beige for underneath the eyes for now, a bit on the spots. I'm just gonna use that same sponge. The coverage is actually pretty nice to be fair. I kind of saw that on the eyelids anyway, but it's always different under your eyes, isn't it? It's blending very nice. Sometimes with the concealer that I usually use, if I leave it too long and leave my eyes, not even too long, if I leave it for literally like 20 seconds, it shrivels and dries up and then it just don't blend and I'm like dragging it across my face. But I'm gonna go over the top with that light one just to brighten up. God, you have to twist these well, Lord. I don't really like that. Do I put some on my face to brighten it? Oh, I might just drag that down a bit actually because this foundation is quite dark. I don't know. I'm going along with it just to see. It's so hard to like shade match when you're in the shop though because like the lights make everything look so much different. But this is definitely helping to lighten up the face a bit. Maybe a bit too much. In the mirror it looks all right, but I'm scared that I'm just coming across looking really like full on. We're just gonna keep going. So we have the My Perfect Color Foundation Contour Stick in the shade Chai, which is literally like gold dust. This is impossible to get your hands on. I saw it in my Primark for the first time not that long ago. Grab one for me and also grab one for Lucy. This is the first time trying it. It's been sat in my bedroom since. I mean, at this point, I don't really wanna make my face look any more tanned and bronzed. But we need something to add a bit of definition to the face. So we shall see. I mean, it's a nice shade to be fair. It's definitely creamy. I just don't really know how much to put on. We're gonna leave it at that because I'm a bit scared. Just smudge that out a bit. I'm really scared this is gonna go like patchy because that sometimes happens. Mm, I think we're all right. I feel like it'll definitely like get more creamier as I use it because obviously it's literally brand new so I've not really like warmed it up. Can we tell I've like absolutely zero idea when it comes to makeup? I'm just doing this for a bit of fun. I'm not a scooby. How to actually properly do this so <laughs> please don't follow along. I just wanted to try this out for myself and see. I feel like that looks a lot better. It's kind of made the under eyes look less like bright draggy down. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, blusher. This I've had for a while. It's the cream wand I believe they've brought out newer versions of this or they've like repackaged it, I don't know, but this is just in the shade pink. So we're gonna pop a bit of this on the cheeks. Again, this is meant to be like a Charlotte Tilbury dupe. I usually go for something a lot lighter and without shimmer, but this is the only liquid blush option we've got. So just stipple that into the face. It feels very wet, like, almost too watery i don't know i'm gonna squeeze a bit of it yeah that's like weirdly like what coming out of that i'm changing brushes because that's very weird mm. i definitely must have got like a dodgy batch because when i see people use this on tiktok it looks so nice but i'm putting it on and it's literally just taking off the foundation and the concealer that is gonna get a big fat no from me cheers primark I do have this, which is a setting powder, I think. It's called the PS Blurred Out Skin Conditioning Universal Powder with Niacinamide, and it apparently brightens, boosts skin renewal, and refines skin texture. However, this has extreme flashback, but it's the only thing I've got to kind of set my under eyes right now, so we're just gonna sacrifice and do it. I'm not sure if I might do any other setting powders. This is the only one I had to hand. It's a very white, just like your typical HD setting powder sort of vibe. This would be something that's like okay for like everyday use, just going like to and from work or doing a bit of shopping. But if you're someone that like takes a lot of content and uses flash, this is not gonna be your best friend because she's gonna ruin all your photos. But I think the face powder I got would be way too dark to set underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna use that on the rest of my face instead. I probably should have got this in a lighter shade so I could have used one for underneath the eyes and one for the face but I didn't think because I just wanted to get in and out. I hate being in Primark because it's just so like, I don't know, it makes me feel like all lightheaded like I'm gonna pass out. But, I mean it's done a nice job of like smoothing everything. I was fine when I wear foundations that match my fake tan. It looks like I've got a six o'clock shadow above my lip. I don't know how to avoid that. Maybe I just need to shave my face. 
I don't know. I feel like I just look mega patchy. Oh, no, my eyeliner is smudging. We're gonna put a bit of bronzer on. This is the PS Mattifying Bronzing Powder in the shade Fearless. I thought this was a new shade because it was in like the fancy packaging. Turns out I already have this. It's the exact same. It's just an older version, the newer version. Although the older version was two quid and now this is only a pound. That worries me a little bit that it's not so great and they've like reduced the price. I don't know, but we're gonna give it a go. It's just like a nice everyday bronze shade. Not too cool, not too warm. It just seems subtle and nice. I mean, not that my face needs any more warmth and colour right now, but it seems nice and smooth though, which I mean for a quid, I can't cry about. It looks nice and that's all that matters. For blusher again, they only had one colour. I'm pretty sure they do have more, just weren't available when I went in. This is in the shade, it's Secrecy and it's a high pigment blush. And this was £1.50, it's just like a very nice pink shade. It's actually quite similar to the liquid one I used, so hopefully looks nice on top of it. We shall see how high pigment this is. Is that making a difference or not? I really can't tell. I mean, if it's high pigment, you should be at notch straight away, but I'm not seeing much of a change. A bit on the schnoz. Okay, that's cute. It's not too, like, clown makeup looking. It's just a nice, peachy, pretty pink. We'll just put a bit on the chin. I don't know, I've just been liking doing that recently. I think it looks pretty cute. I feel like my face is starting to look really cakey, though, so I'm just going to put a bit more of this setting spray on just to kind of melt it all together. It has a bit of a funky smell that as well. I'm not too sure if I like it. While that's taking its time to dry, we'll do a bit of lip liner. Now, this is one thing that I will continuously buy again and again and again and again from Primark because they're literally a pound and the nicest consistency. They have the most beautiful range of shades. They're just the best. And I probably use Toast and Toffee most often, but I've got Foxy Nude, I've got Desert Sand, Velvet Touch, and also Spice. But I've been getting these for absolutely years now. I actually have one from I don't even know how long ago now and it's like the original PS packaging when it was like black. It's so short and stumpy now but this is my original toast and I will never get rid of it because it's actually different to the newer version of the toast. I prefer this shade so much but I don't want to use it all up because I'm never going to be able to buy it again because they don't make this version of it anymore. I think I'm gonna use the shade Desert Sand. I mean, it's not quite sharp. I should have really thought that through, but we're just gonna roll with it. Just give myself a nice lip shade to work with. Using that just as like a little outline. Then we're gonna go in with the shade Velvet Touch a bit more on the center. I did pick up a lipstick because I was hoping this were gonna be really similar to the Doll Beauty Come To Mama shade that I use. This was £1.50 and it's in Naked. I'm hoping this is matte because I didn't even check the packaging is so- oh, it literally says it right there at me. Oh, she's cute. We'll give it a go. Oh my god, that smells beautiful. Oh my god. It's like a vanilla candle. Oh my god, that is well nice for £1.50. That's done the exact same thing and it's actually slightly less drying than the Doll Beauty one, which is nice. And then the last thing I picked up was a lip gloss. This is the High Gloss Lightweight Ultra Shine with Vitamin E. A lot of things have Vitamin E in. And this is in the shade Mink Pink and it was £1.50. It looks a bit scary and daring, almost it's like the same colour as my top. But they had a tester of this and it comes out way more sheer. We'll see what it looks like on top of this little lip combo, which I'm absolutely loving. I cannot believe that lipstick is £1.50. I can't get into it again. Just use this to add a little bit of shine onto the lips. It's such a beautiful colour, oh my god. Oh my god, what is that smell? It's like coconut. It smells like Malibu, oh. oh my god. Divine. Divine. Okay, this is my new favourite lip gloss shade. What's this called? Mink Pink? Stop it. Oh my god, it's not even sticky either. This is perfect. I just want to keep layering it and layering it and layering it. I can't get over that smell. This video may have gone tits up, but I've just found my new favourite lip gloss, so that makes up for it. But anyways, that is the full face of Primark makeup. If I'm going to recommend anything that you actually get from this video, It'll be the lip gloss, any of the lip liners, the face powder, the moisturiser if you can get a hold of it, the brow pencil, the lipstick, and the brow gel sort of thing. Everything else was kind of just like, okay, but those are like the things I feel like you need 
to try. S-O-S, never guess, cause I know Mama told me that I'm blessed But he never wanna show Get impressed, cause I'm dope You don't smoke, what you mean? Keep it potent as the green So you know it's happy tree